Number 68. Which of the following statements is false? Now, this problem is basically a review of the physical properties that we've considered regarding alkanes. But let's go through each one. So answer choice A, longer straight chained alkanes have a higher melting point than shorter straight chain alkanes. Is that true or false? Well, let's find out. Let's compare pentane with octane. So pentane contains five carbons, octane contains eight carbon atoms. The melting point of pentane is negative 130 degrees Celsius, and the melting point of octane is negative 57 degrees Celsius. So octane has a significantly higher melting point than pentane. And for one reason, it has more van der Waal forces or London dispersion forces acting on it. So A is a true statement. Longer chain alkanes have higher melting points than shorter chain alkanes. Now what about B? The density of an alkane increases with increased molecular weight. So with these two examples, we know that octane has a higher molecular weight than pentane. The density of pentane is 0.63 grams per milliliter. The density of octane is 0.70. Generally speaking, as the molecular weight increases, the density of the alkane increases as well. So B is also a true statement. Now, I want to take a moment to let you know that the video that you're currently watching only represents one test question out of the 90 questions that are found in my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 1 video. So for those of you who want access to the full video, check out the links in the description section below this video. Now let's get back to the problem. Now what about answer choice C? Branch alkanes are more stable than straight chain alkanes. Is that true or false? Well, let's write up an example. So here we have 2, 3, I mean 2, 2, 3, 3 tetramethylbutane. And let's compare that to octane. So both of them have the same chemical formula, 8 carbon atoms, 18 hydrogen atoms. In a previous problem, we talked about the heat of combustion for 2233 tetramethylbutane. And it was negative 5452 kilojoules per mole, but for octane, it was negative 5470 kilojoules per mole. The alkane with the lower heat of combustion, that is the lowest absolute value of the heat of combustion, is going to be the one that is most stable because it releases less energy when reacting with oxygen in order to produce carbon dioxide and water. So because the branched alkane has a lower absolute value of the heat of combustion than the straight chain alkane, we could say that C is a true statement. The heat of combustion tells us which one is more stable. So branched alkanes are indeed more stable than straight chain alkanes and the reason is because they have lower heats of combustion that is lower absolute value of the heat of combustion now looking at answer choice D branch alkanes have a lower boiling point than straight chain alkanes true or false now this is a true statement when you have a branch alkane there's going to be less area of contact between adjacent alkane molecules. And because of that less area of contact, there's less van der Waal interactions between molecules. So the forces holding them together, preventing them from boiling off, is reduced. So that's why branch alkanes 
have a lower boiling point than straight chain alkanes. The boiling point for 2233 tetrametal butane is 107 degrees Celsius. For octane, it's 126 degrees Celsius. So we can see that this particular branch alkane has a lower boiling point than the straight chain alkane. Now what about E? Alkanes are nonpolar molecules that have London dispersion forces, which makes them water soluble. So this part is true. Alkanes are nonpolar. The CH bond is nonpolar, and there's no other functional group in an alkane. All molecules also have some extent of London dispersion forces acted on them. Now, water is polar, and like dissolves like. So because alkanes are nonpolar, they are not soluble in water. So E is the false statement. Alkanes, their solubility in water is very, very low, close to zero. So for the most part, we would say that alkanes are water insoluble.